Hi, Dave. Uh, welcome to Duo Loud. Great to be with you. Thank you for having me. There's a rise, there's an intent, um, there is an approach now in the whole Indian way. How does the West react to it? I mean, what's your well, reaction I think to this? That it's, first of all, it's an immense opportunity for India, just as uh, China played such a key role in helping the world economy to grow after the year 2000. You can definitely see the next decade, two decades, three decades, as a massive opportunity for India to be a great driver of global growth and change. The Indian economy is now the fastest growing yeah. large economy. Uh, could be growing as much as 10% this year. That is a huge boost to India, but also a great boost uh, to all of us. I think you'll find, uh, as you say, uh, a very positive feeling towards India because it's respected as the world's largest democracy. And I think there's a lot of respect for the structural changes that you have been making, whether it's the digital identity, whether yes. it's reform of the banks, whether it's the India tech stack, whether it's the clean India, the green India, the Made in India initiatives of Prime Minister Modi, there's a great respect for the fundamental changes. The GST, another one. Yeah. Uh, bold, difficult changes. I know in government how hard it is to make those supply side changes that lead to the strengthening of your economy. And I think there's a lot of respect for the steps that have been taken. Yeah, GST is, you mentioned about GST. I think I read somewhere that the countries who implemented GST, I think most of the countries, if not all of them, the the incumbent, the D then incumbent has lost the next election. So it has <laughs> well, it is there these days that many times in, in politics you have to think that this is a difficult so it's a step. really bold decision. Uh, in the short term it will be unpopular, but in the long term it will make a big difference. But it's one of those structural changes. As another one would be the introduction of the bankruptcy law. Things that often are either technical and, and uh, difficult, but, but sort of rather technical, or things that are controversial that actually make your economy stronger. And I think India has taken maybe 10 of those steps that um, are, I think, put you in a great position to grow and to be a leader in, in, in finance and retail and tech. If you look at the tech scene in India, it's one of the most exciting things yes, in your economy. There are a number of uh, unicorns that are being created in, in green tech, in clean tech, in, in fintech. It's very exciting. Yes, absolutely. You know, there's a saying in Hindi uh, which says that for living, you need food, clothing and shelter. These are the three basic things that you need. But these days, Indians have started realizing that you need the fourth thing, which is, which is data or technology, whichever way you, you put it. You know, we feel that the Indian way of being is peaceful. I mean, we've never been, we've defended ourselves always. We've never gone and invaded anybody else. So India's rise in the global high table is that peaceful way. Um, so do you think that's the right way in the modern time? Uh, and that's, that's the way forward for the rest of the world? I very much respect the, that part of Indian culture, I think is important. Uh, I think it's right that India takes its place at the top table. We should definitely have that United Nations reform where India becomes a, a permanent member of the Security Council. But that reform is difficult to get through for all the reasons you're aware of. Um, I, I hope that as India takes this more important international role, that yes, of course, maintain the commitment to, to peaceful development. But I think it's also important to be clear that we need a rule, a, a world of strong institutions and a world of strong rules. And while non-alignment has been very important in India's history, and I'm sure is important in the future, that's not the same as saying rules don't matter. Duologue with Parundas, featuring David Cameron. Streaming on the world's first news OTT, News 9 Plus. Download now.